morning, friends. Good morning. Early morning start today, day number five, here at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. We are on the go, on our way to where? We are on our way to the nurse's station because we must get our required re-entry COVID test. Um, we are two days away from travel, which means that we need to go get a COVID test so they'll let us back into the state. <laughs> back to where we live. <laughs> and it has to be negative. If it's positive, then we'll get into a whole nother realm of, of uh, scenarios here. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> I, 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 it's very unlikely considering how things are handled here exactly. and everything like this. But nonetheless, we do have to get a COVID test. We need to bring our passport, which we got, and we needed to fill out this form that they gave us at check-in that has our personal information and um, everything like that. So um, I believe this is gonna be a rapid test, so it should be fairly quick. But um, we'll show you the nurse's station and we'll let you know how this goes. Absolutely, so we are transversing the property. Of course, we're staying in Key West Village, nurse's station in Caribbean Village, right there at the main Port of Kashir area. So that's where we're headed right now. So there's the Port of Kashir for the Caribbean Village. Signs said nurse's station this way. Just walk down this little sidewalk. That's the nurse's station right there. See the sign up on the wall? And they told us just to wait here and they'll come and get us whenever they're ready for us. So here we are outside the nurse's station and it does have a sign on the door. Please have a seat. You will be helped shortly. Only one person at a time inside the nurse's station. Minor will be accompanied by one adult person. Wear a mask. Thank you. So now we're just sitting out here. She's taking our passports in our little form. Yeah. And now we're just awaiting to go back and do the test. We we got here at our like right at our appointment time and we were sitting here for like a minute and they came in. Yeah. And, and got us so. That was only because there were other people here who I think they just had like an injury or something, not Yeah. Not even a COVID test. So we they were just talking to them but they left and now we're up. So that is a good point. Like I I don't think you need like not COVID related or COVID related, but like just if you need help with something, I think you can just come here whenever you need it. You? Yeah. That's going to get swelled. I hope you do good on your test so we can stay. So it looks like she's doing the exact same thing that we did for arrival, just swabbing the nose. Um, but she's actually doing it. So it doesn't look like it, this one's self-administered. Like uh, when we went to Walgreens to prep for this. It looks like she's taking care of it. All right, I'm done. Chelsea just went in right behind me, back to back. That was super quick, not even maybe 30 seconds. Um, wow. So it's basically the same test we did before we came here, the, the nasal swab, but they do it for you, um, which I, I find the nasal swabs uncomfortable to begin with when someone else does it. it no, I mean, she was very gentle and, and did a great job with it, but it's just weird. Someone put something on your nose and it felt like it has almost like alcohol on it or something. It was like, ooh, there's a burn. Um, so yeah, you go in with your mask on, they have you sit down, they prepare the swab, you just pull your mask down over your mouth like this, so they can put it in your nose and they swab it and that's it. And then she told me to come sit out here and wait. And now, I mean, right when I started shooting, Chelsea had just literally walked in and you see she's already back out here. It's quite literally a minute. That opened up your passages a bit. Oh my God. When she, well, first of all, they only do one nostril. Yeah. When we do the PCR, we do two, but I guess for the rapid, you only have to do one. <laughs> she, the way she wiggled it in there, it tickled so bad. Is it, was it just me too? It almost felt like it had alcohol on it. It was like, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the science behind the, the rapid yeah, test. Yeah, me neither. It's not bad. It's not painful. That's what all. I said. It's not painful. It's just a tickle. They do um, a good job. Very gentle. It's just oh, a, yes. little, a little weird. It's very professional. Like it's, it, it's, it's good. It was, it's just a tickle really. Now they told us to sit out here and wait for the results. I think she said 10 minutes. She said, yeah, like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. She also gave us papers. Um, she said we fill this out and give it to the airlines. Oh, okay. I'm sure once we get our results back and everything, they'll tell us which ones we have to check and sign and all that. Yeah. And we back! Negative on both accounts as we suspected. It was really easy. I mean, the whole process took like, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, I think so. So I got some clarification. This paper that they gave us to fill out, we fill it out. They don't sign it at all. So I guess we just check that 
our results were negative and they're also going to email us our negative COVID results which we also need to present at the airport which you can give a digital version on your phone. Um, I think we might like go to the concierge and ask if they can print it for us just to make it easier. Yeah, so they said that would be about 24 hours we would have that to our email. So we'll be looking for that. But now we're good to go. We're free and uh, we're gonna start the day. We have our resort tour that we're going to try to knock out here. That is going to take quite a long time because this is a huge resort. So we're gonna hit that now, but then we'll pick it back up after we're done with our tour for today's vlog. We back. We back about, what, three, four hours later? This was a very, very, very long tour, but I think it'll be a good one for you guys. I think you guys will really like it. We pretty much showed everything, so. It's a big property and we got to see everything. So that was awesome. And a big thanks to the staff here for helping us do that because there were areas that were closed that they invited us in to tour. So we really appreciate that. But now we're back, we're done with the tour, back on the daily vlog. We're gonna head to Mr. Mac get some gourmet mac and cheese over by Pirates Island Water Park since we missed it yesterday. Because what do you do after a very, very long tour? You eat. Yeah, we definitely need to eat. It's time for Mr. Mac. It's time for Mr. Mac, the Mac Daddy of cheese. So I'll show you the menu here, the different mac and cheeses that they offer. Number one is covered up. It is like a crab mac and cheese, but they don't have it, so they covered it up there. And check it out, they have a kid-sized Coke dispenser here, really low to the ground, so the kids can reach it. It's Mr. Max food, oh yeah! This is the blazing buffalo. Mm -hmm. These are the deep fried mac and cheese balls. So this was a question we had was like, it said it came with fried onions and we're like, oh no, we hope it's not in the ball, but it's like onion rings on onion top. Rings, yeah. And then the pulled pork sans red onion. Yeah, that means we took away red onion. <laughs> because yeah. I, I didn't know what that meant until you just said it. Oh, we <laughs> used context clues, good for you. And we moved over here to Bobby D's to sit by the lovely water. And Get in the shade here. It's kind of hot over at Mr. Max, so let's eat. Okay, we have now tried them all, and they are so good. I don't know which one's my favorite. Ooh. So the the fried cheese ball. This kind of tastes like a mozzarella stick, and, but like really good. Oh, like it's a, got the marinara too. No. Yeah. And like the breading has that like mozzarella stick kind of taste. This one, I mean, it tastes like what you would think, pulled pork, mac and cheese, but like the pulled pork sauce is really good. It is good. It's not just like standard entry level barbecue sauce, like theme park or whatever. Like it's elevated a bit. It's yeah. good. It's good. And then the buffalo, it's a nice buffalo sauce. I can tell you that's my favorite, but I'm a huge buffalo fan. You are? These are like chicken tenders that they put on the buffalo and it's, it's really good, really good. I like it too because the buffalo sauce is, is decently spicy. It is. Which I prefer. They're all really good. I mean, I'm I'm really impressed. I think maybe the the fried ones are my is my favorite. Mm. But I I really really truly like all of them. I've had enough to say. I'm eating Ooh, not one dessert. Hey, Daddy, one, one, one. Two. What'd you get? Well, this is the fairy princess again. Oh, good. You really like that one? Strawberry shake. I do. And then this is frozen yogurt. It is pretzel oh. sea salt caramel. No. And that's what it tastes like, too. Is that a good idea? <laughs> now one thing that should be pointed out is she 
thoroughly enjoys this apparently mm -hmm. <laughs> is that uh, when we walked in there was no one over there it kind of looks like that section's closed mm -hmm. this wasn't running it almost looks like you couldn't get it at that time not so just go up let them know what you want they walked over fired it right up got it going for you same with the pizza area too yeah so just always ask here this makes me so happy Hell, it should just having fluffy sugary treat oh and we just saw uh, Miliano. So if you came to our Zoom broadcast, you know who we're talking about. Butler extraordinaire here at he Beaches, Turks and Caicos. It's so nice. I recommend if you are coming here and you have a butler room, request Emiliano because he, he is just the sweetest and he knows so much. Yes. He is so knowledgeable of this resort and butler services and he he's just the best. So I, I recommend you requesting him and I recommend you getting Lots and lots of cotton candy, even though it makes you sticky. And he said you look like Abby Cadabby with your cotton candy. So how about that? So that's just the best compliment of my life. Going to the beach. Changing to do our swimsuits. That's right. Swimsuits on. Time to hit the water because our super long lengthy tour is done. Our COVID tests are negative. We are completely done with work now. And we have a full belly. All other necessities have been accomplished now. Beach. Yes, before the sun sets, we must go to the beach. If you joined us for our Zoom broadcast that we filmed earlier this week, of course, long ago by the time you're seeing this video, one of the bonus offers that was available to you was the Sunset Catamaran Cruise. And as Stephen mentioned in our broadcast, that was available only here in Turks and Caicos or in Jamaica. Well, there you go. There you see it. There's the catamaran. Setting sail. Aqua Center because we're gonna inquire about some aquatic activities. Just to give you an idea of what a private event, private function might look like. Not sure if this is gonna be a, a wedding or a reception or what's gonna be going on out here, but they've already got the bar set up, got the tables with the glasses, the drinks, they've got the uh, tables that people are gonna be using with the cloth, lights strung up with the lanterns. Look at that. This looks very much like it's either going to be a rehearsal dinner or like a reception after a wedding. That's yeah. what it, it's looking yeah, like. Yeah, because of the tables and how tall they are, that's people standing and mingling, I think. I bet this is like kind of like, you know, like tables kind of like by a bar. Yeah. Like, you know, by the bar like you know to mingle and stuff like that and that kind of looks like actual like dinner tables or yeah tables. because they're moving like tables around so it doesn't just look like they're setting up schooners for dinner service so i tell you what though like this this would be a nice situation oh yeah either as a rehearsal or a reception like this is gorgeous like these like lanterns with the lights like you know you can only see so well right now because it's bright but at night this is gonna be gorgeous also catch up on what we've been doing the last couple of minutes we're over here at the like uh, aqua center for the water sports water activities mm -hmm. kind of thing one of the things we did was we inquired about the hobie cat sailors we've never done it we wanted to and we asked you know how difficult is it and <laughs> we were basically told if you know what you're doing it's not difficult if you don't know what you're doing it can be dangerous and you'll flip very easily and that and flipping could be dangerous yeah <laughs> so and we don't know what we're doing so we're gonna hold off on that they did say they offer lessons so um not sure if we're gonna have time for a lesson and then to do it uh, maybe someday because we have seen this at sandals you know other properties right. so maybe we'll do it at one of those one day i tell you what let's go over to the activities booth so you can see the list of things that they have. Okay, they have inclusive snorkeling trips. 
They have glass bottom trips, which are inclusive as well. They do certified scuba diving here. And then they also have kayaks, aqua trikes, stand up paddle board, the Hobie Cat Sailors, windsurfing. And then here's the times for the lessons uh, as well. There you go, different lessons and even new to diving stuff too. So lots of fun stuff going on over here. And they also have this awesome map showing Providencialis Island as well as West Caicos all the different dive spots around that they could go to so really cool stuff okay we received a hot tip from our friend that works here at the resort his youtube channel island style kitchen you can check him out there we were going to inquire about the daily snorkeling excursion of course included with your price here and he told us that actually what we should do is walk down the beach here to the red buoys at about 6 30 in the morning why because they have a lot of cool stuff to see including sea turtles yes the aqua center is down this way Let's see where the dock is and then treasure beach is down this way far which is into the resort the far end of the resort so you would have to leave you you have to walk along the beach and go past the end of the resort so you'd be going like out in the public because the beaches here are public that's right. why you can have third-party vendors come up to you here at the resort so exactly so you'd be like leaving the resort technically but he says that you walk 10 minutes down this way past treasure beach to the point of where you get to the red buoys and he said the snorkeling there is fantastic and that we would see sea turtles at that time in the morning so i think we're going to give that a go we're not ones to voluntarily get up that early but if it means seeing sea turtles we're gonna do it and as we walk down the beach here we see a couple of examples of candlelight dinner set up here so you can do this pay for it additional or sometimes it's included with a promotion that you book like at the time of making this video there's a valentine's day promotion that includes that so we've walked along the beach here to give you an idea if you look You look off in the distance you'll see the boats and the catamaran that's out in front of beaches so we walked along the beach of course public beach like you mentioned all the way down to here in front of this sign that says windsong turks and caicos on the reef new beach for condominiums but then you see this sign princess alexandra national park and there's the red buoys that our friend mentioned so we do see that it says only swim outside of the buoys. Yeah. But this is the coral reef. There's coral reefs right here. Nice. And this is where he's talking about. So we're gonna come down here in the morning and swim along these buoys here and see if we can find something. Hopefully see some turks. So our friend told us it was about a 10 minute walk and you timed it and- And, and it was, it was 10 minutes. 10 minutes, so. So yeah, and the, it's a safe walk. Um, Sand is still nice. Um, maybe a few more rocks, but not not bad. We walked on our bare feet and it was cool. Yeah. And um, we'll we'll show this more tomorrow morning when we do it. But we're probably not going to be taking our our Sony because we don't want to leave that on the beach because we're not at we're not at sandals. We're not at beaches anymore. Um, so we don't want to leave stuff on the beach because. That's not, not to say there would be a problem or this is not safe or anything like that. Just just being overly cautious. Yeah, so we're only going to be taking our GoPro. So anyways, you know how it is with the GoPro. It's a little harder to hear, a little harder to whatever. So we figured we would go ahead and scope it out and talk about it now. Hopefully we'll be able to see some stuff. We got a date with some turtles tomorrow morning. <laughs> Do you see the little rainbow between the two boats right there? Kind of hard on the camera, but it's there. Well, we have no better way of describing how much we like this Cascade pool, other than the fact that we normally don't do pools, and this is the second time we're here. <laughs> Can you do it? Not really, because it's stiff. Oh, uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, are they turning my waterfall off? Oh, so apparently, what time is it? Um, 5.30. It's 5.30. Apparently 5.30 equals Cascades turn off. At least 
in February or in the winter. If you joined us for a Zoom broadcast the other night, we had the general manager of the resort, Jamie, joined us for quite a bit of time, actually. Uh -huh. Talked about the resort, answered some questions, and one of the questions that one of you, the viewers, had was, when is the best time to come to Beaches, Turks, and Caicos? And Jamie's answer pretty much mirrored what we always say when people ask us, when's the best time to go to on a cruise? Or go to any sandals or uh, beaches location, we always say it's the Caribbean. You can't go wrong year round. This time of year that we're here, February, it's good to come because if you live in the States, no matter where you live, even us in Florida, it's colder back home than it is here. So you're kind of escaping some cooler weather and coming to where it's warm all the time. January, February, you don't really have to worry about inclement weather as much. That's right. um, you it's know, not you, hurricane season. It's not hurricane season. You get into the summer or, um, you know, August, September, October. Same as Florida. That's when um, they, they can come about. Just some things to keep in mind. <laughs> I came over to film the beautiful sunset, but I wanted to show what the candlelight dinner thing looks like at night with a heart in the sand. Evening swim complete. But the evening itself, just getting started. Charles has been shot out of a cannon. So we're trying to get over to the Sesame Street show. We went to the room and we changed. And we're running to get to the show because we're not going to miss another Sesame Street thing again. I see Abby Kid, Abby and Oscar, our two favorites, as well as Cookie Monster. Hey, it's time for Cookie Break! First me go find Cookie, then me break it into lots of pieces in me mouth! Get ready! Cause things are gonna get grouchy. If you want the letter G, make a grouchy face. Sure. Do a grumpy jump and stop in place. Oh. The play a grouchy song on your hair guitar. Hey. And so now the show is over. They're inviting everyone so to come up family by family <laughs> and take pictures with the Sesame Friends. Look at Oscar in his can. Oh, yeah, Oscar's spotting in his can. And of course, we want to thank you so much for having so much fun with us here. They're also giving away Sesame right. coloring kits. How fun. Never know who you're going to see on the way to dinner. <laughs> maybe he was doing a tuck-in time. Oh, maybe. The sign says Tokyo this way, and it's not lying. It's time for kimonos. Hey, seated at our hibachi table. It's a fixed menu, so you get to try everything. You don't actually have to place an order. Here's what you will be dining on. It's the moment you've been waiting for. I've been so excited to eat here. I think this is the place we're most excited to eat at. Item up for bids today kind of changes the traditional Asian hibachi flavor with some coconut lime soup. So it's kind of, it still has the shiitake mushrooms and tofu though. Yeah. So we're still we're still a little home. Yeah. There we go. I recommend not coming to this restaurant if you have a headache. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite noisy in here. Oh, that's a banging you 
utensils and singing and fun stuff, but it's just, fun. It, it, it is quite noisy. <laughs> also, the soup was very, very good. Dinner was delicious. All the meats were so good. They were um, like the the sauce and like flavoring that they put on all the meats were very good. The chicken was like a little citrusy. Um, I don't know what was on the steak, but it, oh. it it equaled delicious. The steak was my favorite. Sorry if it was a little loud to hear us. I don't know how much you were able to hear us, but you know that's part of the deal. It's a it's a show and it's a lively show, but. It's cool that they try to make it fun and make it entertaining and all that stuff. With that said, we're gonna wrap things up here for the day five vlog. We've had a lot of fun today. I hope you did as well. Be on the lookout for that full and complete resort tour video. It's gonna be a long one, but it will be detailed and should show you everything you would need to know about this resort. We hope we'll see you back tomorrow, day number six, our last full day here at Beaches, Turks and Caicos. We're gonna try to get into some fun stuff. We're gonna try to get up early and head down the beach to go snorkeling. Hopefully we can find some sea turtles. If not, at least a coral reef with some fish and stuff. Yeah. So that should be cool. And one thing we do know, Sesame Street special show at Treasure Beach tomorrow evening because there is a beach party. It's Friday night. So there's a beach party here at Beaches, which is awesome. It's our last full night here. So what a way to go out. And hey, I've told you before, I'll tell you again, if you're interested in coming here to Beaches, Turks and Caicos, Beaches in Jamaica, any of the Sandals locations all around the Caribbean, we can help make that happen for you. As travel agents, we love to partner with Sandals and Beaches. They love to partner with us and they love for you to come experience the product firsthand. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us today. We hope we'll see you back tomorrow for day number six here at Beaches, Turks, and Caicos. But signing off for day number five, happy, happy travels! travels.